this video is an update to my original video which was how to use the eBay API with Python and um, I thought what I'd do today is just go through a quick introduction which is what I'm doing now then we'll do a recap on the original video and then I've had a request to pick out the condition now condition is what eBay used to describe whether something is uh, new, used, nearly new, part one, brand new in packaging still, whatever. I'm sure if you've used eBay you'll know what condition means. If not, then have a look. Um, so the new requirement is to get the condition of the product, whichever product you want to search for, book, watch, iPad, laptop, whatever. Uh, so the original video I didn't include that um, and I think I probably ducked the issue to be honest because <laughs> it wasn't uh, easily extractable and probably because the example documentation didn't show it and um, yeah if you've seen the earlier video um, I'll just let it play there while I'm talking and what I did was I wrote a couple of functions and I registered for the eBay developers API key and the key was uh, sorry the API rather was for finding the finding API key and um, there we go overview API reference release notes so what I was doing was I was searching for products, build, search and browse experiences. The documentation is uh, excellent, however it's not always Python specific, so if that's what you need then either find a, a great video on YouTube <laughs> or um, yeah, you'll just need to root through and sift through until you do. But really the emphasis isn't on Python, the emphasis is on the structure of the API, so you just need to um, get familiar with what the prefixes are and uh, how to make making a call. Uh, the call structure, the syntax, testing overview, um, schema location, error handling, you, it's all in there, so it's really comprehensive. Um, Let's cut to the chase. Let's look at the code. So, um, enough of the previous video. It's, it's there if you want to watch it. How to use eBay API with Python. Any country using eBay SDK. Um, the reason why I put any country is because uh, the, the documentation will inevitably be for eBay.com, eBay United States. And um, yeah, one of the things I actually had to look around for was to change the country for where I wanted to search. So obviously, if you only if you want to search for I don't know an anvil <laughs> or um, a bulldozer, you probably don't want to be importing it from three thousand miles away. So site ID equals and you can look those up for instance uh, if it was France it would be eBay hyphen FR instead of GB um, and the reason why I'm showing you this in a small font is so that you can also see the results so We'll start from the end and work backwards. As you can see, I've now got the condition. Uh, if you can see that there, used, 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 used. The condition is not always available on all adverts because uh, when it, the items get listed, it's not compulsory to put the item condition. Um, so what I had to do was put in some conditional logic which said, um, if the item dot condition display name is present then the condition is equal to that value 
if it's absent, if it's not there, then you just set condition to um, a string of n slash a not available, not applicable. If you don't have that conditional logic, condition will be missing. And then when you come to print that or use it in a dictionary or, or whatever you need to do with it afterwards, uh, you'll end up with a missing value. How did I find out that I needed to use item dot condition display name? What I did was just up here, I got items equals soup find all item. Um, an item was obviously got was what got returned as a response object from API dot execute uh, using API request, which was searching on keywords, and the keywords came from a text file which I created. So in my text file, um, Auto Course is the name of a yearly um, motor racing annual. So I thought that was quite a good choice because. It gave a lot of used, nearly new. <laughs> I don't think I've got any brand new ones, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so this function looks through a list. So this is not particular to eBay's API. This is just what I created. Pass the keywords to get underscore items, which then goes off to the eBay API, asks for those keywords. And then with the response, beautiful soup, sends all of that into items and then by printing items I can then kind of what I did was I just looked at the um, I just looked at the uh, the first item and as you can see item encloses everything so everything uh, needs to begin with item and then the inner, um, there we go, condition, condition display name. So if you look there, I've highlighted condition display name and we've got <sighs> phone ringing, just bear with. Right, uh, where were we? Condition display name, so used. If it was new, then it, instead of used, it would say new. Um, so item is the outer uh, so this isn't json as such this is uh xml um, but you can access the values with item dot so earlier we had item dot title item dot current price item dot condition display conditional display name so um as you can see here, there we had, let's try and find price for you. Um, oh, the currency there, oh, 10 euros. Yeah, current price, converted current price. Oh, that's clever. So then we've got it in pounds, nine pounds and two P. Title obviously was up there. And um, yeah, I don't need to cover that anymore. Item dot title. So this item dot title, item dot current price, item dot view, item URL, item dot condition display name. All these are part of the API structure for find item by keywords, which is what I showed you here so it's all part of the syntax for the finding API so if you use a different API then you'll need to check the API syntax for whichever API you're dealing with uh, okay if you want to use this code what really this code is um, a stripped down version of my original code um, the reason why it's stripped down is because I was helping a subscriber to identify condition and Looking back at the code, I thought, well, <laughs> why not just make it a lot simpler and strip out a lot of the um, bits? I was basically saving the output to JSON file in my previous video, so um, up to you whether you want to do that or not. I'm just printing it to the screen here. And um, 
I think that's really all I need to comment. I'll leave the link to the code down below and what else? Yes, the API, as always, you will need to register with eBay for an API key. And all I've done here is I've created another file called uh, eBayAPI.py and I've put eBay API equals and then I've put my API inside quotes. And this is the production API, so you need a production API key. If you're just testing, then you can use the developer API key. Um, eBay will give you both when you register. So um, one thing, I'll just run this again and hopefully it will work. Um, if you run it too frequently, you get a response error and also I put in a time delay um, following an error which I had and then I looked on Stack Overflow and it said put in a delay. I don't know whether that's relevant or not, but um, yeah, if you run a request too much, you will get uh, something to the effect of the uh, connections already in use, something like that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, be patient. I think uh, it sort of fixes itself in about 10 minutes. So, there we go. We have title. Well, these are in French. There we go. Title. So, we've got a 1971 annual. And there's the price. There we've got NA because there was no condition in the advert. So no condition in the advert, then we've put in the NA. And if there was a condition, and obviously because they're quite old annuals, they look they are all used, then uh, we've got used um, from the condition display name. So if you're watching and uh, you've wanted to get the condition of a product, excuse me, um, there you go, condition display name, and you just need to use item dot condition display name. And I've just put string dot lower there just to keep all of my, um, keep it all consistent, keep it all consistently lowercase. And uh, yeah, there's a lot more, lots more you could do with that, but uh, for now that will do. So any questions, drop me a line and uh, maybe watch the original video as well, because that really, I've just retrieved my code from, it's nearly a year old now, I've just retrieved that code and stripped a bit out. And all I really did was added this bit, these, so from lines 21 uh, down to 29 are really the, the modifications that I've done today. So uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching and thumbs up uh, um, and sub subscribe on, yeah, all that.